All right, guys, on the sessions today, we're doing a little follow up. So I had Rachel Evans on the other day and we were talking about how I lived in a haunted house at one point. So to now further dive into this story, I've brought on my mom, Carol. Hi, mom. Hello. You, it's a podcast. So you you got to say hi. And not oh, hi. Sorry. <laughs> Miss <laughs> video too. Uh, and then my brother, Eric, what up? Hello. Okay, so we can all confirm that yes, we lived in a haunted house. Yes. We right. lived in a house where strange things happened. So wait, are you gonna kind of like be on the side that you don't believe that the house was haunted? Well, I guess that depends on what we think like a haunting is. Okay, that's fair. In, in my opinion, there was a ghost in that house. Is, oh, I don't know that. I don't know that that means that you're haunted. But for the sake of it sounding better to say that it the house was haunted, it was a friendly ghost. Like it ne never did stuff to scare us. It was just like, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but remember when we had Ike the Rottweiler, he would always sit in the corner of the living room and stare and look at, at the, the wall. Corner. That's did that right. All the time, and that is. And Sid did second. that too, because we had the boxer. He also did that. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. animals are really um, in tune to spirits, and I That's totally one hundred percent believe in them. And plus, somebody died in our house. So okay, you're jumping ahead. Sorry. Slow down. Just calm it down for <laughs> one second. Okay, so I feel like I've talked about this a ton, whether it's just like talking to friends, I've spoken about it on the podcast before in different like instances, but there's a part of me that's like, am I making some of this up or like, am I remembering it differently no. than it actually happened? Am I like fabricating things? I don't know. So I'm gonna like give you guys the floor. What was like, I'll, I'll go to Eric first. What was like your first like, I guess when you really noticed that something was like happening that was weird. Well, I think the first thing that we both noticed was the sound of someone walking down the stairs that were in between both of our bedrooms. Yeah, like our bedrooms mirrored each other. We lived in a bungalow and there was like three or two, you know, three or four stairs that went down to our bedrooms and it was our yeah, bedrooms. Our, our, I think each our other. bedrooms were like extensions off the back of the house. I don't think those rooms were originally on that house. Right. No, I don't think so either. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there was like th four steps that went down and then you know, like my bedroom was on the right and yours was on the left. Mm -hmm. I remember waking up one night and we had both heard the same thing and we kind of had both opened our doors and we're like, who just walked down the stairs? Um, yeah. You know, it wasn't either one of us sneaking it, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, like I remember hearing like a lot of like the pacing up and down the stairs. Like that was a for sure. And I always feel like there was like bangs on our doors. Like I remember bangs hitting my doors and you and I, same thing. We'd open up our doors and yeah. be in the hallway. Like what was that? Yeah. So. And I mean, I feel like that only lasted like a little while though. Like that didn't persist. Like I feel like that only happened for like a fairly short period of time. It's enough time for me to be scared no, yeah, out of my yeah. pants. But it, it didn't like it, it, it didn't stick around. Um, oh, can I can I jump in here? Because um, it did go away. And it's because um, a friend of mine who was really into spirits and stuff, he said, if you read this passage out loud from a Bible, the spirit will go. And I honestly think it did, but I was like shitting myself reading that. <laughs> and we'll we'll get into that stuff because I think that is kind of what like closes a lot of this stuff out. But so we were older. We were not like kids when this happened either. So it's not like we have like a child's mind of what had happened. Like we were both like teenagers. You were just about to go off to college. Yep. I was at home. Um, but we never, none of us really spoke about this when we all lived in the house together. Like, I don't feel like we were ever like the house is haunted. Right. I don't feel like we actually talked about that until really, yeah, you moved out. I moved to LA yeah. and then we all started kind of talking about it. Yeah. Cause I mean, I was just about to move out to go to college. Um, but I guess, you know, I guess it did kind of persist because Justin, my friend moved in Yes. after college was done and lived there for a couple months and he experienced the same things didn't he 
Yeah. Well, Justin and I would also go to um, the, the old Whitby Insane Asylum. So right. maybe we were oh. like, conjuring up some ghosts with that. Some of that yeah. But, well, but I mean, no, I, Justin. I used, to, I used to go there all the time um, previously. So I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe we brought home. something home. Yeah. That was like the thing to do for us when we were like teenagers was to go like hang out. There's like an old abandoned uh, mental hospital. But, you know, that's kind of what I was saying is like, was it a haunting or was it something else? Because haunting, I guess, is tied to a place, whereas like a poltergeist or something else like that is tied to a person. Yeah. So that's funny that you say that, too, because so when I had Rachel Evans on, she does um, like catching a ghost on camera. She does like a lot of those like discovery travel shows like she is like in on the ghost. She's got her finger on the pulse. She knows what's up. And I was explaining to her some of these things. And mom, do you remember when you were you would like be in the shower and you would heard my voice? Oh, yeah, that was the big kicker for me. I was in the I wasn't in the shower. I was just in the bathroom with the door closed. You guys were sleeping. You dropping a deuce? No, not that day. And, <laughs> and, um, and I heard someone say Lola, like our, my little dog called Lola, who was in the bathroom with me. And I opened the door and I went, oh, that's weird. No, no one's out there. It was a lady's voice. And then I went down to check on you guys. You were out cold. And I'm like, okay, that was weird. So I so, think it was I, the lady that I also died. Heard- I had also heard a voice in the bathroom as you well. You did? I didn't know that. Yeah, I've told you, you guys this. You heard a voice? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I was, know that. Uh, you guys were away. You guys were both... I was home alone. Um, and I was, like, getting ready to go meet some friends or something. And I was in the bathroom. I think I had just gotten out of the shower. And I heard someone whisper my name, like, directly in my ear. I I've did not know that. Before. No, you I've have not told me that before. No, me neither. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> and what's weird about that, too, is so I was telling this to Rachel when I like I had a whispering right in my ear as well, but I was sleeping and it was one of those like I woke up and I was like, was that a dream? Did that actually happen? But I could have sworn that I felt like someone's like hot breath even on my face and they right. whispered in my ear, I'm coming with you. And it was when I was moving to L.A. Right. Like I woke up and I was like, that must have been a dream. Like what the hell? But no. if it like whispered no, in your ear too, like, whole, yeah, I know you're not, you're not coming with me. Leave me alone. Thanks. That's so, but she was saying, Rachel was saying, she's like, if it's, if it's, I don't know from, for you, mom, if it was trying to like imitate my voice or what, but she said that can be like a pretty bad sign that it's actually not like a friendly ghost. Oh, I, I think this was a friendly ghost for sure. Or spirit, not a ghost, like a spirit, because it made What's it never. What's the difference? Is there a difference between a ghost and a spirit? Well, I think a ghost is like Halloween. A spirit is like someone's spirit, you know, like. Um, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. okay. <laughs> True. I got but, you. Uh, and also, when I moved out of that house and I moved into Keswick, <clears throat> um, I was sleeping and something lifted the end of my bed. I remember you saying that. That freaked me out. I'm like, oh my God, did that ghost or spirit follow me? Like, yeah. So but maybe that, one of us is like tagging. Have, have have you guys had anything happen after those things? Mm. I never had anything happen since we moved out of that house. Me neither. I was like, Mom, I just had that thing in Keswick because I went, oh my gosh, is, did that spirit follow me? But then that was the only thing I experienced and it was like kind of weird, but um yeah, I was not afraid of the spirit in on Simpson Road, though, at all. I didn't. Not that I would say that I felt afraid of it. But I mean, ghosts are terrifying anyways. Like, I'm not I don't want to, like, be around ghosts. So oh, like I put that I, out to the universe. Yeah, I would let them move in with me. Like, I just. Yeah. Why do you like them so much? I don't know. It's just, you know, as long as they're friendly and, you know, just want to hang. It's fine. <laughs> it's, nice to have, it's nice to have some company, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I live alone. Yeah, that's right, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. I'm so, not talking to myself. I'm talking to my ghost friend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like that stuff. It all. It. I. They all freak me out. I don't really want anything to do with with any of it. Yeah. But um, yeah. Like what, Eric? Didn't you see something on the stairs or something at one point, or were you stoned at that point? Uh. Well. <laughs> yes and yes. I, <laughs> I don't think I saw anything on the stairs. No, um, it was just always, you know, hearing something there, and then yeah, on our 
I always felt like something was like watching me. Like I would always just have that like eerie feeling of like something being over my shoulder, something watching, like especially when I was in my bedroom, like because we had our computers in our room. So we were always in there like doing homework and, you know, doing whatever um, instant messenger chat. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But I always just felt like something was like there watching. I never like like, it. Again, with those two rooms being add ons to the house. Like, I'm curious if, like, something was disturbed in the soil or something um, with that addition being made in the back there. Yeah. Yeah. You Real just, poltergeist. You know, because, like, our uh, our house also backed on to, like, a hospital. That's um, true. You know. The, God, the, I never thought about right. that. That's right. Uh, we were directly across the street from the hospital. Yeah. I, I honestly think it was the lady that died downstairs. Okay, so what's the story between, for the woman that died downstairs? So just for people listening honestly, to this, yeah, too, just hold on, wait, 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 pause. Sorry. Just to preface for people, the, the, this house, it was a bungalow, but there was a full basement apartment as well. And the woman that died lived in the basement apartment before we ever moved in there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do, what do you know about oh, that well, story? But just before we moved in there. Oh. Yeah. Like she was, was yeah. Oh. And, and because I bought that house from one of my clients... And uh, she sold it um, because they they weren't living in there. They had a monstrous house. And uh, when the lady died, she sold the house. And Uh, I bought it. Okay. So, I mean, I feel like that kind of just like puts a button in it that like the Mm -hmm. woman that had died, it must have been that. I I remember being in the basement one time and like basements are creepy anyways. That basement wasn't actually creepy because no, it was a finished yeah. basement. Mm-hmm. But I would always haul my ass up those stairs real quick. As, as soon as I shut um, off those lights, I was like booking it out of there. I was up those stairs. But I remember being downstairs one time and I had a can of Coke, probably Diet Coke. Um, and it, it started to spin and move down the table. Granted, I'm sure that was just like the condensation from it and like, I'm sure it wasn't a ghost, but I've never moved faster in my life as I did when that happened. Like thinking yeah. that it was like right there moving yeah. my pop. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I did hear her talk like um, when when Lola was in the bathroom with me. And she she called Lola's name. It was like so weird. So and Justin creepy. was living there then, too, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I'm not positive, but yeah. Like I would even like have like girlfriends come over and like sleep over and not tell them that mm-hmm. like I wouldn't I wouldn't be like, hey, by the way, there's a probably a ghost in my house. Like that was never a conversation being had. Mm-hmm. But when we'd be sleeping, same thing as like Eric was saying too, where like they'd be like, what is that sound? Mm-hmm. Like I remember even hearing like the like the dishwasher opening. Like there was a lot of action happening. Like it was a very active ghost slash spirit. I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. And, you know, um, like when people are dying, also, they see spirits. Um, Because my grandma, when my grandmother died, she would do the same thing. Like when she was dying, she would also look up to the ceiling and say, oh, look, there's, you know, and she'll say the, you know, her relatives names that she could see and stuff. Oh, my God. And then when my mom was dying, I'm sure there's a, you know, physical reason for that. It's your brain. Okay, sort you're of. not here to yeah. dispel the ghosts. Just let the ghosts <laughs> and the angels live and exist. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but um, and then when also when my mom was uh, in palliative care in her room, she would look at she'd see saw the bathroom door. It was closed and she went, oh, look at all the names of the people who died in this room. And I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. And she could see the list of names on the door. Hell to the no. Mm. Yeah. And some of them, one of them was my aunt. No, sorry. She would be my cousin. She also died in that same bed, which is. what? Yeah. Well, it was in a hospital, right? Palliative care. But she yeah. also died in that same bed. Jeez. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. So all this stuff is happening. Eric moves out to college. I'm getting ready to move to California. And that's when I feel like you and I really spoke about this on like, I don't know if it was like on the flight there or like leading Mm -hmm. up to whatever. But I remember you, you were going to do that passage thing when you got home. So, yeah. okay. So what all went into this? Where did you get the passage? Who told you about it? What did you Uh, do? 
it was actually Wayne Ferguson. Okay. And he was Family really friend. He was really good friends with Mike Mandel. You know the um. Oh, what does he? What does he do? He does like uh, he, you know he'll bring people up and hypnotize them and all that. Oh, he was yeah. really tuned to spirits. And so Wayne said, read this passage. And I honestly couldn't tell you what passage it was, but you have to read it out loud because Mike had told him that. So when you guys were at home, I'm sitting there reading it. And honestly, I'm going, okay, this is really <laughs> scary. <laughs> what if it turns the ghost like into a psychopath killer? <laughs> honestly, the like ghost like enters your entire soul and takes you over. Holy shit. Yeah, but honestly, I don't think I had any more activity with that ghost after that. But I was kind of bummed that I did that, actually. You're but weird. I know. I live You're by myself. I did come from yeah. But that's extra reason. If I was living by myself, I for sure would not want a ghost there. Get a, uh, another dog honestly, or something. I could live by a house right next to a gravesite no. and no problem. No. Yeah. I could not. Yeah. There's no way. And did you guys know, too, I don't know if you know this, but, and it is true, um, when somebody close to you dies and you start finding dimes, that's the spirit telling you that they're watching over you. And you would not believe, like Marilyn, Rhonda, like all of us, all of a sudden started finding dimes. Those are all dimes. my aunts, by the way. Yeah, like we all started finding dimes. And... Uh, I haven't found any for a long time, but uh, when mom first died, I did. And I didn't know what it meant. I just went, oh, that's weird. Why do I have all these dimes? And then a friend of mine is um, indigenous Indian. And he said, oh, that's your, a spirit trying to let you know they're looking over you. And what I are they doing nice. with all these dimes? Yeah, what are you doing with these dimes? You're rolling them up, you cashing them in? Yeah, but honestly, that is true. Like, that happens to a lot. Oh, I'll tell you another story. Hit me My with friend... It. My, one of my friends, a client friend, died a little while ago, and he never, ever kept change in his car. And his girlfriend, I was talking to his girlfriend, and she said, Carol, it's the weirdest thing. She said, um, I went into his car, and there was a dime on each seat. And she goes, what? he never, ever had change in his car or, like, on his seat. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's creepy. Yeah. So when, you, when I die and you guys find dimes... Just saying, hey. <laughs> yeah, throw a little cash my money. Cash yeah. my way. Jeez, I yeah. can't talk. Um, okay, so that I feel like kind of like wraps up the like Simpson Road mm -hmm. uh, ghost story. Uh, I feel like it was it would have been the woman that died. But I think to what you said too, Eric, of like we were directly across the street from a hospital. Maybe it was multiple ghosts. Maybe it was one I don't think one. it was the woman that died. I mean, and do we even know that she, like she died there? She did. She didn't. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't. She did not die the in the house, though, did she? She didn't. Sorry. She lived uh, there, but she did not die actually no, she died in the there. house. Yeah, no, she, died she did there. not. Mm, I don't. No, because she had cancer, didn't she? Didn't she die in the hospital? I no, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was in the house. Mm, conflicting so. answers here. And I don't know that she had cancer. I don't know where you got that from, but yeah, that's. I'm not sure where I got that from either, but I'm pretty sure that that's factual. She wasn't yeah. like murdered in the house or anything. Oh no, no, she'd probably be angry if she was. <laughs> yeah. So, mom, you have seen ghosts before, though, right? Like, I think oh, you. Oh my god! You are yeah. certainly the one that is conjuring these ghouls up because that's sort of my only standalone. I do feel like maybe I saw one when I was very young. I have like a very like vivid, strong memory of living on Andrea and feeling like there was like a ghost. Like I woke up and there was like a ghost like on my chest. But I was like oh. four, so I could be wrong. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I also feel like we watched like horror films quite a bit yeah. earlier than maybe you know kids should. Um, <laughs> okay, well let me let me tell you this I feel ghost like that story. Kind of, like influenced a lot of you know turning yeah, the lights always... off and being afraid of what's at the bottom <laughs> of the stairs, and you know kind of no, no, it, it was true. It, this really <laughs> happened. But when I first when I first moved in with Marilyn and Pat, I was I moved from Ottawa. I was only about 20. Marilyn and Pat is her sister and brother-in-law. Yeah. And uh, I woke up, honestly, I was horrified. I couldn't talk. I couldn't scream. There was a man sitting on my bed and he just kept going like this. Like tilting his head back and forth. It freaked me out. And then I must have just like passed out or something. And I told Marilyn about it. And she said she had this pretty much the same thing happen to her. Yeah. And that was like the most horrifying thing that 
ever happened to me because I'm like, oh my God. And I just, I couldn't get any sound out of me. I was horrified. Maybe that, maybe it was just an actual man that lived in a crawl space. Ooh. Yeah, maybe, but no, he Popping it was up weird. a little peak. And it was nobody that I knew, you know, like, because I could see his face and everything. It was just like, wow, that's really strange. And, and also when Marilyn and Pat lived in England, um, Marilyn. You got all they, the ghost stories. Keep them coming. Oh, yeah. Um, the, Mar- they lived in, you know, a house with their aunt. And they had a pub downstairs. And Marilyn was tired, so she went up to bed. She lived on, like, the top floor. And uh, this ghost, she looked at her window, and there was a man hanging from the tree. Oh. And disturbing. that happens a lot. And she wasn't the only one that saw it. She was there with, um, oh, gosh, I, I, mean, I don't even know what band, but there was some other band. They were all close friends from Toronto, and they w- they experienced something like that, too. Now, that would scare me. Yeah, all of this would scare me. Even like if Casper showed up in my house, like I understand you're friendly, but please vacate the premise. I'm not oh, interested. Yeah, see, no, I'm all about spirits. They don't argue with you. They don't have attitude. <laughs> well, sometimes they do have an attitude. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sometimes they, might... they do bring an attitude. Mm. Um, Eric, you just moved into a new house. Did you do any kind nope. of like cleansing? ritual no, to your I house um, i mean the house is was built in 1900 um, so you should probably do one says me who also lives in the house from 1880 and didn't do anything. guys not to freak anybody out here but we just had to restart the record again this is my second episode for like my spooky halloween series talking about ghost things where the recording has like abruptly stopped I understand the internet can be a little shoddy from time to time, but I think that it's more ghosts. It's internet ghosts. They're haunting us all. It's all happening. Um, uh, So yes, when I moved into the house in Vegas, I did, um, I did like a whole saging process to the house. So you like light the sage. (laughs) Yeah, I do that sometimes too. Yeah. So I made John walk around the house with me. I was like, I think we've got to like do it together. We like are holding hands and like, staging every corner of the house but then then i read that you're actually you have to open all the windows so that the spirits can all get out or not the spirits but like the bad energy can all get out of your house so then i did it again to try to like just cleanse the house and granted i never had any kind of like weird that house never felt weird or creepy to me and now our our new old house same thing we moved in here and i i didn't do anything to this house though but i i'm kind of with you eric that like i like moving into this house it was built in 1880 i was like okay there's got it's gonna be creaky yeah it's, i'm gonna hear stuff like it's it's got to freak me out and i've really not felt that at all in this house so i'm just yeah i'm gonna let sleeping dogs lie i guess yeah and of all houses that sh- should be saged it would be that one <laughs> i know i know 100 <laughs> percent oh definitely my God. yeah no i'm i'm surprised that i'm surprised it's been as fine as it has has your yeah. house been fine so far eric yeah you so just far, moved actually, in uh, yeah we just moved in um you know it is spooky season so we'll see if anything pops up here if there's ever uh, been a time yeah. for I ghouls to like rear their of, ugly heads start doing like a bit of digging and i found some information not on the house specifically but i guess Ooh. Like a lot of these houses were lived in by people that were in World War One. Oh wow! Um, so you know, there's probably maybe some bad energy here. There somewhere. could be, uh, yeah. Maybe. So keep an eye yeah, out. Yeah, I sage my house sometimes too, just because um, I like the smell of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I do that sometimes. And yeah, I've, I've I kind of just let that one go. I, I feel like I'm feeling good. I feel like there's like a good energy in this house, so it's fine. Um, so okay, Eric, you just moved into your new house. It's old. Mm-hmm. You also have a young child <clears throat> at home, sweet little baby Paul. That's right. What would you do if Paul starts seeing something, or if Paul starts talking to like an imaginary friend slash ghost? What is your like parental reaction to that? I have seen enough ghost movies that the house would be up for sale <laughs> <laughs> that is so john too john's like he always yells at me he's like you bring the ghost if there's a ghost in this house like we are out of here like he i'll sell this house so fast he does every, not every, mess every around ghost with it movie is like oh well you know we'll just sort of deal with it and you know we got a good deal on this house which we didn't <laughs> and you did not no um, i did not <laughs> uh, you know it's like gotta gotta stay it, no, we'd be gone. 
yeah f that no. i got oh. no time if, if i see nora like talking in the corner like oh my friend some like old like german yeah. name or something like yeah this is a very german town in cincinnati which is yeah. why i said that but um yeah i got no time for that absolutely not and like we back into like the woods too i'm gonna freak myself out now i'm home alone tonight now i'm gonna be like shitting my pants <laughs> not like keeping all the lights on at night oh my god i know john hates it when we talk about ghosts hates like, it shut hates up. it yeah yeah he doesn't even want to watch scary movies right now he's done with my shit <laughs> <laughs> he wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, hey, I feel like I, I don't know that we debunked anything or really. I don't know. I, 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 it's like, I guess, kind of reassuring to me that we are all on the same page, especially about the Simpson Roadhouse. And we all had such similar experiences from like the whispering in the ears to hearing a voice to the pacing and the steps and the knocks on the doors. Because, yeah, I mean, the farther removed you get from that, I mean, yeah, I mean, shit, we were teenagers. We're getting old now. In my head, I'm like, that, did, that actually did happen the way it did, oh, right? Yeah. So, for sure it did, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I know that it did. It just, like, sometimes I feel like I'm, like, fabricating it in my head or, like, because it yeah, was so... you know, so... a lot of people don't get that experience of, um, you know, being near a spirit, but there are a lot of people who do, and we're one of them, or three of them. <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i think there's something too to like being receptive to it which i think i'm receptive to it i know you for sure are mom and mm -hmm. i mean I, I eric you love scary shit too you'd be you'd be all about putting i, out a I, ghost I like fight. scary i like scary shit and i like the idea of it but i'm not also sure that i believe in it really why no. how could you say you don't <laughs> believe in it after everything we just talked about <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, I guess there's probably some sort of explanation for everything. And I guess, you know, going Boring. directly to like, oh, it's, you know, the spirit of some person that's just walking up and down our stairs, knocking on yes. the door. Um, I don't know. I, Boo. Yeah, but if you both heard it at the same time. Oh, I know. 100%. Like, that's the thing that freaks me out. And like, I, I often, when I'm telling people this, like, preface it to like, I mean, you and I were like pretty opposites as teenagers. It's not like we were like buddy, buddy meeting up in the hallway in the middle of the night. And it's like we would both pop our head out and be like, what the f just happened? Like yeah. we for sure like that. Like if it was just me or just you, but the fact that it was happening to both of us at the same time, like and it was always around like two, three o'clock in the morning, yep. which is like a haunting. They call it like the demonic hour, the witching hour. Um, the Internet told me. Um, but <laughs> yeah, like, oh yeah, that's right. I, yeah. I, I don't know how you could like not believe after having something like that happen. Right. So well, I'm, I'm not saying I don't believe that something happened and that we, you know, heard something and no, but you were saying you don't believe that it was a ghost. Well, no, I mean, it's, you know, so you, you think like when you die, you turn into a ghost and you're just like flapping around. I think some people can. No, I, think I don't it, think everybody I think does who are uh, not ready to leave yet. And then, yeah. And yeah. Then have you seen the movie Ghost? Sure. He was not ready to go. He hung mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. took care of business. Great movie. Patrick Swayze. What a guy. Yeah. Um, let's also just have like a quick. So <laughs> as I'm saying, like, yeah, we lived in this terrifying house and oh, my God, I can't believe that happened. But. <laughs> Also during this time, yeah, Eric, you and I, we, we would go to the Whitby Insane Asylum. And yeah. like, so people know, actually, if you want to like have a visual of this, they shot that Billy Talent music video in there, right? I think so. I can't remember which song it was, Try Honesty or something like that. I'll, I'll put it, I'll let you guys know what it is, people listening. Um, just to get like a description of what this place looked like. So it was like multiple buildings, all abandoned. And like creepy, there was like stretchers yeah. left around, like the gurneys. There was a whole underground tunnel system that connected them all as well. Yeah. So the fact that we, not that you just had like access to it, we would go late at night and yeah. like go haunt around. And you'd have to like avoid security guards. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but there was like all these like underground tunnels that connected the buildings um, that were very strange. Um, there's a lot of weird stuff 
in there. Oh, very weird. Renee, I just remembered another story. I was coming home one night and I was on a country road. I took a shortcut and it oh, was Oh, this like, one's a good one. I know this one. And I saw this girl walking towards me on the road out of nowhere. And she had sunglasses on, which was really weird because it was night. And um, it, it freaked me out. Because I'm like, okay, that's... And, and she just didn't look like a normal person. What that does that was mean? Real, that way, I didn't go back and check on her because it kind of freaked me out. Oh, I thought that there was more to it. I thought you did go back and there was no, like no. something there. Oh. No, oh, no. I definitely saw something because it freaked me out. I'm like, because I'm like, oh, my God, what is this lady doing? It's probably the lady from Simpson Road. But no, it looked like a younger person. <clears throat> um, but yeah, and do you remember when we used to... Um, I took you guys out to Salem Road because there yeah. was a there was a ghost. You honestly were I hysterical. cried. That's the hardest I've ever cried in my life. So that's what I was going to get to next. So not only were we in this like house that was like potentially haunted, then Eric and I and like all of our friends, we would go to the Whippy Insane Asylum, which is like definitely kicking up the dirt of some ghouls. And oh, like, if you want to yeah. talk about a spirit that has unfinished business, you walk through like the underground tunnel system of like whatever was happening at this mental institute. Um, it was like basically like American Horror Story, like season to to the insane asylum um but then we would go to salem road so there's like this old lore that salem road uh between it's like ajax whitby borderline um that if you what was it what was it eric that if you would go if you went at a certain time there would be like a light that would come like shining down it, it the was street some guy, it was a guy riding on his motorcycle because he got killed this up there not, this is not salem road um, what is it this is ghost road in port perry no no oh. No, yeah. no, no, I think he's right. No, mom, I think he's right. Uh, there was a old um, <clears throat> uh, graveyard on Salem Road. When you went up like quite far north, that was supposedly haunted. Um, and I guess there was like a rumor of a like an old like witch coven that used to operate up near there. Oh, I didn't uh, know that. But then, yeah, Ghost Road was in Port Perry. So it was on like Scugog Lake. It was on like a little island. And you would drive up and you'd park at a certain place on the road. And you would, you know, you sit there and watch. And sometimes you would see like a light come down the road. Um, and then it would disappear. And sometimes when you would look behind you, you would then see a red light, like a, you know, like the brake light. The brake light of a motorcycle. A motorcycle. Thank uh, God I'm here for all your words. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was in Ajax, uh, no. Salem Road. No, I actually think he's right because I do remember us driving a little bit. It was, yeah, no, I think he's definitely right about that because I remember being oh. like farther away and we drove farther. So my mom took us. It was me, mom, Eric, and then I think Matt Clark, who was my boyfriend at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I remember being in the back seat and crying like i might have been having a panic attack she was hysterical it's like oh my god we have to go home she's Did like we actually <laughs> see the light that night no we didn't see right. anything <laughs> no because i Renee was screaming too much <laughs> yeah i so remember that i was like howling i was so afraid and i think jackie jordan this light. was with us yeah oh, jackie she was probably with us yeah that sounds about right oh my um, god yeah you were just like it's like renee settle down but you were like no nah! I was freaking. Well, that probably goes to the fact that we were allowed to watch a lot of scary movies early on. I was definitely afraid well, that it was, I was, it was Maybe I'm a bad a parent. Dark road. Maybe what? It was a scary dark road, right? So it was scary, and we went there to see a ghost, and I was like ready to <laughs> die. I, like, well, I, mean, that was... I, I feel like I always like instigated my group of friends to go do this stuff. Like I think mm -hmm. I found out about Ghost Road, and I'm like, let's go. Mm -hmm. Some of us went up, and we saw something. And then, like, I would, we would bring, like, groups of people up there. We brought a video camera at one point. I videotaped it, and I wish I knew where any of that was. Now. Oh, you oh, wow. got it on tape? I did, yeah. Holy crap. Um, I Damn. guess, you know, the, my understanding is that, like, the, uh, the explanation for this is that there's a road that's further down. And since you're on a lake, it's kind of this like weird reflection of a car coming down on a, on a road that's on the other side of the lake. 
Okay, don't ruin all the ghost stories, Eric. I know. You're such a ruiner. <laughs> Just let us live in fantasy land. I hate when things are debunked. Right, it's, a, it's a headless ghost motorcycle <laughs> rider that, that comes through and drives right through your car and then follows you home and whispers in your ear and walks up and down and cares. <laughs> uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our ghost stories of the Paquette McKay household.